what is SEO? SEO is um, search engine optimization. It's the process of improving the visibility of a website in search engines via natural or unpaid search results. Now, I'm going to give you a very brief overview of, of how SEO works. This isn't meant to be advanced. Gail will cover some of the more advanced topics. It's not meant to be technical. It's just meant to be an introduction. I want you to think about how search results happen from Google's point of view. Google wants to give their results, their, sorry, Google wants to give their, their users relevant results. SEO is about making your site more relevant than your competitor's site to keywords. So how does Google determine relevancy? Well, technically speaking, there's on-page optimization and there's off-page optimization. But I'm, I'm going to try and shy away from the technical uh, explanation and give you a conceptual understanding that, that non-technical people can grasp. Um, over the years, I've, I've explained this in different ways. But what I've found is that this, this analogy works well. Um, Google works a lot like people do when they're trying to find out about another person. So how do you find out about someone without knowing him? Well, you do two things. The first is that you go and talk to him. And the second is that you ask other people about him. Google does the exact same thing, pretty much. Meeting a person and asking him questions can be compared to what we call on-page optimization. It's when the Google crawler meets your website, goes through your titles, your headings, your content, and figures out what your website is all about. So that's on-page optimization. On the flip side, Asking other people um, what a person you don't know is like can be compared to, uh, to off-page optimization. Um, and this is when Google looks at references or links to your website um, and determines what those links say about your website. Now, I, th I think um, I'm running out of time. I want, I want Gail to come up here and, and say a few things on SEO as well. But I'm going to try and give you the 80-20 of it, which is um, the 80% the of that the, the principle of 80-20 is that 80% of the results come from 20% of the effort. So I'm going to give you the 20% of effort, which really makes a difference to search results. Um, and if you have a website or, or websites, you, you may want to write this down. The first thing is keyword selection. Um, allocate three to four keywords for every page of your website. This isn't including, um, this isn't including contact us or privacy pages or, or just functional pages. We, we're looking at the converting pages on your website. Now, what you want to do is choose keywords which have buying intent. So imagine I have a website about just shoes. Would I prefer to rank the website for shoes, or would I prefer to rank the website for buy shoes? Well, shoes is going to have more volume in terms of the search. But buy shoes, But when, when, when I access the demographic searching for buy shoes, these are customers who are actually online looking to purchase shoes, to take the action that you want them to take. Okay. Number two, on-page optimization-wise, things like meta keywords and meta descriptions make a lot less difference these days. Um, a, a long time ago, they used to make um, all the difference. What does make a difference is your title, your headings, and your content. What Google's trying to do is to make it so that the page becomes as, as um, usable for the reader as possible. And what that, what that doesn't is include is, is spamming keywords on the page. So they want to discourage that as much as possible. Now, off-page optimization-wise, you simply want to find good ways to get quality links to your website. It's not just about the links, though. It's about what the links say about your website. Uh, I mean, how does a link tell Google that your website is related to buy shoes? Um, the answer to that is, is that you want to change the words which actually link back to your website from, from click here to buy shoes. Right? That's, um, that's what you call the link text or the anchor text. And that's what tells Google what your site is about. Um, as for the actual links themselves, um, our experiments are showing more and more these days that if you get high quality links on high quality sites, um, you, can, you really make a big difference in your ranking. So um, a great way of getting this is by guest, guest blogging on sites which are relevant to your site. Um, so you know, as an SEO company, we had a guest blog on um, the Moo.com blog, the Elance blog, um, really high quality blogs, um, which as soon as we got them, as soon as we got the, the, the link juice from them, um, really skyrocketed our rankings. And a lot of our clients do the same thing. Um, 
So get very high quality um, links back to your website, and then add link diversity by um, doing things like submitting um, articles to article databases, um, using press releases, and um, by commenting on, on, uh, commenting on blogs, which are relevant to your niche as well, and including your link in there. Okay? Um, those are, are more just to add diversity, but the, the high quality links are really the, the, the foundation to, to actually getting your, your website ranked very highly in Google. I know this has been um, a little bit basic, but um, Gail will cover the more advanced sections. Um, thanks very much to, uh, to Oxford University for, for having us, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the talk.